Uh, da, 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 da. Probably all the way in the back. Yep. Have I even been all that way back? I mean, I, I must have. <clears throat> I just don't remember it. Hop. <laughs> yep. I need blue fruit. Uh, Hello. Victory is ours. <clears throat> okay, uh, that's red fruit. Okay, yeah, I kind of... <clears throat> I jumped the gun. Oh, here's blue fruit. Eat. Thank you. up that way but that is behind yellow uh, where are the yellow fruits that's blue back there but there's an item So, I guess we're going to have to go up this way. Do, 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 do. Red. just have red fruits back here. I don't remember seeing a yellow one. In fact, I don't remember seeing a yellow one at all. Oh, oh, there's yellow. Unleashed all my power. Ugh. Maybe I overdid it. All right, eat the fruit. All right, so now we can go up to the far area.
blue. Where is the blue fruit? That's the red fruit, but there's an item. Camping behind the red. Here it is. Okay, so the yellow has to be back here. Yep, there it is. What's he doing here? That's... It's a world tree, Leaf. We need that for the Omega Elixir. You know of the Omega Elixir? You're no ordinary travelers. I think you can tell that just by looking at <coughs> <Yeah>. us. Yeah. <laughs> he seems wary of us. Should we take it by force? No. We'd be at a disadvantage. He looks strong. I could try talking to him. He looks like Wait, any other exorcist to me. me try. All right, Laffy. Do what you need to. Please, sir. May we have that? We need it badly. Sorry, kid. I've only this one. You're so young. Do you really <coughs> think you can make an Omega? <coughs> Excuse me. I have a friend who's very sick. If there's anything I can do to save him, anything at all, I have to try. Did you already gather the other ingredients? No, we still don't know what the last one might be. But I'll find it. I swear I will. My friend is suffering too much. I refuse to give up on him. I have a feeling this guy Take might it. be the Are kid's you dad. Don't you need this as well? I'm an exorcist. Talking to you, well... We're supposed to put the needs of others ahead of our own. You think not of yourself. I would be a poor model were I to deprive you in your time of need. Huh? Thank you. Well, thank you. By the way, young one, perhaps this will help your cause. I've been studying an old book, and it would seem that the final ingredient is a Moloch's prayers. Unfortunately, thanks to the Lord of Calamity, the Abbey's been losing a good number of Molochim. I've managed to be exceedingly lucky, and mine is still okay, but... He will not give me his prayers, even when I command him to. Perhaps you will succeed. I have not faltered in my duties as an exorcist. The world must come before my family. Yep, even more hints to our I'm so sorry, Videl. Yep, there we go.
Now that we know what the last ingredient is, there's just one thing left to do. Hey! I think that might have been Videl's dad. Well, now that you mention it, Videl did say that his dad was an exorcist. Huh? If he was the one who borrowed the book from Videl's mother, that would explain how he got here. Damn, though, that's cold. Doesn't that mean he was willing to give up on his son? How could he place more value in the Abbey's teachings than on his own son's life? I think he made the rational decision. Remember, he felt that there was no way he could get the last ingredient for himself, so... Yeah, okay, sure, logic. Kids ain't logical. How do you think Fidel would have taken this? I'm sure he'd be terribly hurt. Look at it like this. That guy clearly went to a lot of trouble to decipher the book. He would have faced considerable dangers <clears throat> just to get here. Exorcists can't save the whole world. They have to live their lives conflicted like the rest of us. Mm -hmm. If everyone lived as selfishly as me, the world would be a wasteland. Velvet. I don't disagree, but he knew what he was doing. Am I dreaming this? Is Velvet actually defending an exorcist? Pinch me! <laughs> I'm only stating the truth. <coughs> anyway, if we'd fought, it would have been to the death. Good thing this ended peacefully. Fee, I can't tell you what's right in this situation. But if Adele does die, the sadness will be numbing. I can promise you that. Yeah, but I think even in sadness, hope can spring to life. There you as go. As long as you keep living. Anyway, we've got everything we need. Let's get back to Videl's house and make the Omega Elixir. That exorcist said the last ingredient was a Moloch's Praetors. That's all it is? We're in good shape then. We've got Lappy Said and Aizen and Bienfu. Mm -hmm. One of you can surely squeeze out a prayer or two, yeah? Okay, that was bad. Um, the the words weren't matching up with what was being said. Captions. There we are. The captions weren't matching up. <clears throat> uh, all right now. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Turn to the planes. Oh, that's for your friend. Our scout ship has returned. Well, well. Uh, now here's the white hall. Good luck out there. All right. Um. So. Need Cannibal and Palomides. <clears throat> okay, I actually want to go back to a ball. Nope. is <sighs> Tranquil Woods, Tranquil Woods. Um, I guess I'm going to have to take the hard way on that.
Okay, back around to the left here. Earth Nor- oh gosh. Oh no. Now a Norman suit for Eleanor. already lost consciousness uh -oh. but he's still alive isn't he please let me see him Fidel it's me Lafayette we have all of the ingredients for the Omega elixir I'll prove that your translations were correct Fidel just wait Lafay said <laughs> he's awake no He's just mumbling. That's all he's been saying this whole time. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Lavi said. I'm sorry. I, I told you to, to go away. I really wanted to talk to you. Or... It's fine. Really. That doesn't matter now. You're my friend. There's... So much of the world you still need to see. You have to get better. So we can go on adventures together. And okay? here comes the Moloch's prayer. Bingo. Huh? Is that... It's the Omega Elixir. So, it wasn't really a Moloch's prayers. It was their tears. Hmm? Sweetheart, you're home. I am. <laughs> but I have no right to be here at this point. Wait, before I you beat yourself up. I chose to do my up. duty as an exorcist over the welfare of my own dear family. Uh. I won't ask for forgiveness. <laughs> this isn't something that can be forgiven. Dad? Fidel, are you feeling okay? He's fine. A generous friend worked hard to prepare the Omega Elixir for him. Uh -huh. The Omega Elixir? Wait, don't tell me your friend is... You helped him, right? I heard that it was you who told him what the final ingredient was. Uh -huh. Thank you, Dad. No, son. You have no idea. <laughs> I... I... Dad, it's okay. You protected the world in your own way. The one mom and I live in. The one I want to explore when I get a little older. Son. <laughs> All's well that ends well, hmm? Hard to believe we managed to actually make an Omega Elixir. That's one hell of an accomplishment. Oh, and here I was anticipating much wailing and gnashing of teeth. Uh. <laughs> Videl turned out to be pretty resilient, huh? Can't you just say good job like a normal person? Like a normal You're person. No fun. <laughs> Since when has Magyu ever been normal? Thanks. But I might have given up if not for Velvet's encouragement. All I did was rile you up. I wouldn't call it encouragement. <sighs> not you too, Velvet. <laughs> anyway, that was a noble thing you did, Luffy said. You really held on to your hope all the way through. Yeah. I just didn't want to give up on Videl. But I don't really think it's worth praising. I haven't felt lost like you have, Velvet. If I had, I don't think I would have been so sure of myself. Perhaps. But I think you'll still have it in you. Even if you ever do lose something, dear. Huh? Why? That's just the feeling I get. Look, I'm tired of Eleanor's grumbling. So I thought I'd say something nice for once. <laughs> Could you not make this my <laughs> Hey, all right, the praying monk. Oh, there's a geo tree up here. Let's see about that real quick. Uh, 
Get back off. No. Ah! Are you hurt? Can you stand? Just trying to get to this geo tree while I'm here. And it never hurts to grab more souls. the last one. So, that's going to be do, 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 do. Uh, and then I still have the fiend island, or fiend island too. Uh, Alright, assault. Assault. So, do, 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 do. I don't think that I can warp. Oh, wait. Hurry up. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'll put me as close to Palamedes as I can get. Hmm. Don't have a geo tree for here. Hello, cats. Can't even call that a fight. Oh, court spend it. Topaz, two fifty five, three oh five, two thirty five, two four, two oh four it is. It's <clears throat> uh, a warp. Well, I wonder if I might be able to use that warp point. Souls while I got a free reign. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Central, Eastern. I would imagine Eastern should put me. Yep, perfect. Oh, and there's the geo tree. Yeah, 
I just realized I did all that and I, saw, <laughs> I hadn't hit a save point at all. Good thing I didn't get my butt whooped anywhere. <sighs> Alright, Cannibal Demon in Palamedia. Okay, looks like he's not exceedingly far in. Good. You better be ready. <laughs> Let's move on. Do, do, do. And the way should be fully open, so I should be able to go just straight down there. That's a good question. Uh, was there a cat's chest that I had not gotten yet? No, nope. uh, I opened it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Whoa. That is ugly. We can do this. Crash, crash. It's the demon eating demon. The more it eats, the more ferocious it gets, right? I'd rather not find out. Let's take it down. Fight away. No Wounds that won't shoot. Come on, come on. Power on it, power on it. Well, that was... Victory is ours. Easy. Mistress of Arms. Ooh. Lots of equipment mastery. Halves damage taken when holding only one soul. Oh! That's going to be extremely helpful. I don't know how, but we managed to beat it. It devoured other demons purely by instinct. Sounds kind of like me, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So you've eaten a few cows or demons, whatever. When you're hungry, you eat. The only ones who put any moral weight on it are humans. Personally, I wouldn't sweat it too much. What are you trying to say? Uh. It's fine. I don't really care if I'm seen as a bad guy. I don't really know how to put it, but I sensed a kind of strength inside that demon. Like a determination to continue living. It was powerful and frightening, but I don't think it was bad. Figures. Uh. All right. Uh, yeah, let's grab that geo tree. Considering how well we've cleaned up, yeah, I am thinking we're probably going to end this a little early on this session. Just so that off recording I can do some leveling up. We'll see if we uh, uh, get to a good point and hopefully be able to, to uh, beat Phoenix next time. 
and then head into the final battle. But first we're going to get this Geo Treat. And then get somewhere. Or warp somewhere. Safe. Uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't want to fight. There we go. Alright. Now, let's warp to. Assault. Save here. All right. Thanks for joining us this time, guys. And we will see you next time. Probably this time. Almost for, almost certainly for sure. <laughs> for the last session. Um, so, hope you have a great rest of your day, guys.